All right, Jeremy, let's reboot. Wait, no, Agonon, I, I haven't finished adjusting her emotional settings. <laughs> Ah, shoot, I got a shock. I don't like this. Let's stop now. We can't stop now. My mother will be home soon, and she'll have quite a negative reaction if she finds we created the, the perfect, perfect female robot. robot. Hey, sailors, what's up? How about a good time? Oh, cool. Oh, my gosh, Jeremy. She's coming on to us faster than a 5-gig processor. What the heck did you set her desire levels at? 25. 25? 25. 25. Are you unstable? Maybe. Do you know what I put into her desire memory? Porn. Pornographics? Thousands of it. Thousands of porn. Who wants to touch my butt? She's awesome. Oh my god, Jeremy, if my mother finds out I have a woman of questionable character in the house, she'll lose it. Do you guys want to touch my butt or not? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Jeremy, yes. no. Yes, I get on, I get on. Everything will be fine as long as we can control her mind and emotions. You two are just a couple of f***ing geeks. Oh my god, Jeremy, she just swore at my house. Shut off her power. I did, I did. She's not responding. Agadon, what the f***? Oh my god, Jeremy, now you're swearing at my house. Will you please shut the f up and help me? I, oh my god. So long, mother f***ers. Where are you going? Stop. I think I hear my mother coming. Uh-oh. I think I hear my mother coming. My mother. Oh, oh, uh, Agonon, I'm home. What's going on up there? Who the f*** is that? Shh, it's my mother. What? Not talking to you. Stick to the script, please. Oh, sorry. Go sit down, Ruth. Ruth? Who the f*** is Ruth? That's your name. Your name is Ruth the Robot. No, my name's not Ruth, okay, nerdo? My name is Sexy. Sexy O'Sullivan. Agonon, why can't we control her? She's Irish. Uh, Agonon, I'm coming upstairs to see what you two troublemakers are up to. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, No, I, d I didn't know the language yeah, content of the... It, you know. well, I, actually, yes, okay, I was in it. I did... Yeah, well, no, I had a small role in it, but it, I mean, it was off-camera stuff. I wasn't even there, you know? I think, you know, I think I have another call. Can you hold on a second? Hello? Uh, hello. Hi, Mrs. Adelberg. I have a very bad problem to tell uh -huh. you. Did you see the movie? He says a bad word. Okay, you know, I'm so, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Uh -huh. He said bad words to the kitty cat, and the kitty cat will not come out of the closet. Okay, Mrs. Adelberg, could you hold on a second? Brendan. Hi, Mrs. Muley, come on in, have a seat. I've got two people on the phone ahead of you, but you'll be able to yell at me shortly. You're right, Brendan. Cursing is an excellent way to convey an emotion, but it's not always an acceptable yeah, way. Yeah, but in the movies, it's acceptable. But not for kids. Swearing when you're young can become a crutch, and then as you get older, you'll get lazy, and your vocabulary will turn to sh But I don't swear all the time. I know you don't, but this incident makes us both look bad. Not both of us. Both of us. That's why I've invited all the parents to come over and watch a new cleaned-up version of the movie next week. What? And I'll have to read the script before you shoot anything. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna censor me? No, I'm just gonna take out the potty mouth words. I don't understand. Why are you cracking down like this? Oh, and also here. What's that? A curse jar. What's a curse jar? Every time you swear, you put money in the jar. At the end of the week, we'll donate it to charity. No. Here's a list of curses and their monetary values. Holy <laughs> The F word is three dollars? Too much? Yeah. And don't say it. I gotta agree with your mom, Brendan. Cursing is a sign of ignorance. Oh, oh f Graf! Ouch. Please! Whoa. There's no place for cursing in a civilized society, all right? Yeah. I'm telling you this I, because I'm a coach. No, I know. And you're just a kid. Yeah. You can't go around cursing now. Yeah. It will end up ruining you when you get older. Right. But do you think... Uh, what the f*** was that, ref? Oh. Are you taking a Is that what you're doing or are you making a call? Because if you can make a call, you make a call. But don't take a out there. That's taking a That's taking a in my f***ing mouth. And I don't want to eat your <laughs> you f***ed up f head. Wow. Unless, Brendan. Yeah, yeah. Unless you know how to do it right. What do you do? Obviously. Yeah, my ears are still ringing. Yeah, it's called creative use of words. Right. It's like poetry. Yeah. Like Robert Frost. Right. Stopping by the woods. Right. On a snowy f***ing evening. Right. That kind of that's that's good stuff. But it's my poetry. Right. It's the everyday man's poetry. Yeah, yeah. All right, because we can't find good metaphors like the woods. Yeah. Or the snow or the horse or that kind of stuff. Right. Oh, f and f me, ref. Hey guys. Eric. Long yeah. time no see. Want a f donut? Uh, I'm good, thanks. Hey, uh, where's Melissa? She's in the net. She's playing goalie today? No, she's stuck in the net. She's been there for like an hour. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, go. Go get him, if, if in fact that's what you want to do. So, Eric, what are you doing with yourself? Well, I'm dropping the kids off at Brendan's. Melissa, get back in the game. Game's over, coach. We lost. Oh, good good game. Are you kids ready? Yeah, where, where's Jason? He said he'd meet us later. So, Eric, let's do something after you drop the kids off. You want to go out? Uh, you know, I'm doing something. I'm going to my journal writing class. Oh, blow it off. We'll go to the track. Or 
I like my class, John. It's a wonderful exercise that allows me to get in touch with my emotions. And right. Well, let's go to the movies. Instead. Look, because I, 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 I'm going to my class. I, I See, I already have a legal pad right here. Mm. Well, let's grab a beer. We'll go to a bar. We'll go... Let's go to, a, like, a theme bar. I'm sorry, John. I'm, I'm going to my journal writing class. I... Boring. Let's play mini golf. Go bowling. Watch a game. Go to a rodeo. No, I'm, I'm going to stay here. Well, there's an art festival going along the river. We can... Get a glass of wine, put out a blanket, you know, buy you know, salami, some cheese. Hey, I didn't ask you to come. I mean, in fact, I'd prefer to, to take the class by myself. Hey, all women, huh? Yeah. Well, now I see why you take this class, Harry. Huh? You dog. You, you dirty dog. Ruff. <laughs> see your teeth, you dog. No, but it's not, I'm not in it for the women. Oh, come on. I mean, you're in it for the women, obviously. No, that's not, really, I am only in it for the journal writing, and that is the truth. Jason, finally, where have you been? Walking. You're supposed to pick me up. No, 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 Melissa said you were going to meet us here. No, Melissa, I told you I needed a ride. You did? Sorry, I, I guess I wasn't listening. Sorry? I'm well, yeah. sorry doesn't cut it, Melissa. I'd like an apology. Okay, I apologize. Melissa, you've been acting kind of weird lately. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's just fine. I mean, I'm fine. Let's get back to work, guys. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Well, I see we have a new face in the class. Would you like to introduce yourself? You bet. Name's John McGurk, and uh, my buddy Eric dragged me here. Mm. So let's get to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I should probably mention that I'm single, 38-ish, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm um, in pretty good shape. I play a lot of soccer. Wow. And I'm a journal freak. Oh. I'm like a fanatic journal lover. Well, that's great. Yeah. We'll be looking forward to hearing one of your passages next week, then. You want me to read? From, I thought journals were, like, private. Well, you only read what you want others to hear. All right. So let's listen to some journals. How about starting off with Sandra? So I was dreading euthanizing Asia. Asia was my cat's name in case anyone forgot. I had begun to prepare myself to hold Asia during her death, to hold her until her normally busy paws went limp. Unfortunately, I never got that chance because Asia jumped out of her carrier and got hit by a car. Seems pretty vulnerable right now. Yeah. Should probably ask her out. Okay, okay, um, C Nate. Hi, Brenda. What's with the jar of money? Can I have it? Oh, it's a curse jar. It stopped me from swearing. I, if I use a curse word like, uh... Huh. Then I have to, you know, huh. then I have to put money in, yeah. Say uh, that thing again. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> right on, stop. Don't overdo it. Oh, my God, I'm going to pee. I don't trust my father. I think he's seeing another woman. Ah, <sighs> uh, um, weird. What? Weird. What? Weird. Hi, I liked your journal thing. That was good. Thanks. You want to go get a drink after the class or even now? No. Oh. I didn't take this class to meet someone, okay? I took it to examine my soul. <laughs> I suggest you go find yourself. Look, I am beginning to not want to go out with you, so I suggest you turn this around. <sighs> and then he said... What are you doing? I'm writing about it in my journal. Right now? Yeah. Can't you wait? <laughs> oh, name's John McGurk. M-C. Big G. You, I, wait a minute, wait, M, C, P, G. You know what, G. you write it. Uh, then I took her journal and started writing in it. This is weird, comma, I said, and wrote, wait a minute, this is getting too weak. You're welcome. Uh, you want to go out? <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, you. And, uh, with the braid. You want to go out? Jeez, Eric, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Eric? Eric. Oh, my. Eric. Yes. What is going on with that woman and you? Y you mean Joviana? Joviana? Is that her name? Yeah. What is she, a hippie? It's an unusual name. I, I admit that. You shouldn't make out in class. It's rude. You know, you know what? I can't stop thinking about this woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I met her last semester when I first took the class, yeah. and I haven't seen her again until tonight. Well, why not? I mean, it seems like you two get along well, as in you were making out with her. It's because of Melissa that I can't, I can't see her more often. Wow. Melissa doesn't like the idea of you replacing your mom, right? 
No, no, she she just doesn't like the idea of me dating. I mean, she'd kill me if she found out. She, I don't think that's true. I mean, Melissa couldn't kill you. Yeah, she could. She's vicious. Hi, Daddy. I missed you. I missed you too, sweetheart. Hey, are your lips swollen? What? What are you talking about? I smell perfume. Me too. That is so weird. What? What is going on? Why are your lips all puffy? Um, because I was I was inflating beach balls all night. You were kissing someone, weren't you? What? What kissing? Liar! <laughs> Sweetie, just go home. Go home. I'm sleeping over at Brendan's for the rest of my life. What? Brendan, I'll be upstairs. Please bring a glass of water when you come up. Uh, what? You know, you have to take a stand sometimes. Yeah, it's tough. Families are, um, families are tough. It's, it's so difficult. They're, they're just the options yeah. every day shrink. I know. What I can do in a given day. You want to go to a titty bar? Sure. I'm in. been almost a week. I, I don't know what to do. She won't talk to me. Loan me your journal. You, you, you want to borrow my journal? Why? Well, I'm supposed to read from mine tomorrow, and I haven't written anything. Well, John, you can't copy from my journal. This is my life. Eric, shut up. Okay. I just want to see how you arranged yours, how, you know, what the setup was. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not comfortable lending in my journal. <sighs> All right. I'll tell you what. Lend it to me, and I'll tell you how to get Melissa back. Okay. Here's the journal. Thank you. How do I get her back? I don't know, but I fooled you. You son of a bitch. Sorry. See you in class. Hi, guys. And girl. Oh, yeah, and Hi. girl. Hi. Uh, Hi. Guys, this is a private production meeting, so if you don't mind. Dear Jason. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Put in 50 cents, Walter. Okay. 50 cents for <laughs> You guys have a cursed jar, too? Yeah, we heard about Brendan, so we started our own. Everybody's been talking about Brendan's curse word jar. We have one, too. We wanted one, and we got we one. We wanted it, and we got it's it. It's f***ing awesome. 50 Sense, Walter. You too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, guys, the idea is not to swear. Right. Oh, f you. Yeah, f you. And f you, Perry. Yeah, and f you, Walter. Anyway, uh. I'm... Yeah, Brendan, before we start. Goodbye. Talking... Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. You know what, Brendan? I'm yeah. sorry to bring this up again, but yeah. can I ask you not to leave a glob of toothpaste in the sink every morning? I mean, it's really disgusting. Brandon, you didn't swear. Trust me, I did. And Jason, uh -huh. after you shower, you might not want to leave your wet towels on the floor. It's kind of unsanitary. All right. Well, I got to go. I'll see you guys tonight. She is driving me crazy. Oh, she also shouldn't watch me shower. I have to get her out of my f***ing house before I go broke or insane. I mean, why doesn't she just go home, Brandon? Doesn't she realize she's not wanted? Jason, um, you don't have to stay at my house every night either. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. Good one. Look, <clears throat> can you talk to her? No, no more talking. She needs to be taken care of. What are you suggesting? I have a plan. I don't want to know. You won't be involved. I'll handle it. What are you going to do? I don't want to know. I'll handle it. I don't know. It gives me the creeps. Hey, Coach, what are you reading? Eric's journal. It's a private journal. Yeah. May I? Help yourself. Yeah, thank you. Hey, tell me if you think this is a good opening line. Okay. And so begins my journey inward. My journal to the center of McGurk. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's like, uh, you know, that reminds me of the, that movie, the Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah, it's supposed to, idiot. I'm being clever. Oh. You know, I'm going to be reading this in front of a whole room full of women. Oh, yeah. So I want to impress them. You know, I want to get them right from the get-go, from the title. Right, so... I don't want to make it, like, dumb, like, you know, McGurk's kick-ass journal, something like right. that. Yeah. I want to make it a little more... Yeah. ...literary. Right, and then you want to impress them, make them think that you... Then sleep with them. Yeah. 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 What do you mean you lost my journal? I mean, I lost it. And like I lo left it somewhere or I dropped it. I don't know. I don't think you get it. There's personal stuff in there. My, my, oh, my you know what? Things that, what? I did, uh, went to the movies. Maybe I left it there. Well, why don't, why don't we swing by the movie theater and see if we can find it? Right, right. What do you think of this? It's between these two. Journal to the center of McGurk, right? Or journal to the center of McGurth. You know, I'm... With a I'm, K on the end. I, I can't talk to you about this. I'm, I'm too upset. Hey, you're in here, by the way. What is all this stuff here? Oh, uh, it's stuff from my journal reading tonight. But why do you... Why do to you be need... quite honest with you, I didn't write a lot. But I am going to show a whole bunch of clips of movies I like. Okay, good. 
This is, this is very good. But um, could you not say dam? But the character is referring to the Hoover Dam. Yeah, but maybe you could just call it the Big Hoover Water Stopper Wall. Mm. Okay, fine. Um, you can leave that in. This is this is good, though. I like it. But, but don't you think it's a little too clean and no. boring? I mean, No, it's... boring. When Virginia O'Sullivan, love mm. that name, much better than sexy, when, mm-hmm. when she starts going crazy and destroying the house and, and Jeremy throws down the controls and screams, quit clowning around, I... I got chills. I mean, th- no, this is this is nice and clean. It's it, this is. Mm-hmm. I, I think this works. Well, guys, let's shoot it. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna hear from John. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Oh, the music. All right. And so begins my journey inward. My uh, my, my journal, journal to, to the, the center, center of McGurk. McGurk. That was a waste of a rental. Um, Dear Journal, it's Tuesday night, and I'm sitting here with my bottle of Chardonnay, relaying the events of my day. I went to the video store earlier to rent three adult videos. I had read some interesting reviews online, and always like to know what I'm renting before I go in there, especially when it comes to adult videos. Um, okay. Anyway, on Wednesday morning, I woke up and, and, and I performed, I woke up and preformed, pre, something, something laundry. Uh, the machine, oh, wait a minute. I'm missing a, let me shut this music down for one sec. Goes from one to three. In any event, as far as I remember, I did laundry. There was a thing about um, that uh, baby laundry detergent, which I buy because it's cheaper. Uh, but it's uh, also, uh, I think I said something about it being a gimmick. It's the same as regular detergent. I don't know why babies need different detergent, something like that. And there was that whole thing on the laundry and also about the uh, laundry room in my apartment complex. And I wrote a letter to my landlord about them changing it to make free laundry. I don't think we should pay maintenance and pay for uh, laundry. And that was that. Oh, here it is. So, yeah. I went and did my laundry. I use baby detergent because it's a little bit cheaper. But then I was thinking, why do babies need different detergent? Can't they use the same one as everybody else? It's not like they'll die. My apartment complex has a laundry... Eric, we can't keep making out in the back of classrooms. You have to stand up to your daughter. No, I don't. See, next semester we can take cardio kickboxing. No. If you want to see me again, it's got to be on a real date. Introduction to grief? No. Introduction to Latin dance? No. Latin grief? Forget it. Intermediate hip-hop for the grieving Latin? A real date or nothing. (sighs) You're right. You're right. You are absolutely right. Let me talk to her. Secretly, Virginia, I want to be your boyfriend. I love you, even though you're a robot without a heart or lungs or skin. Melissa? Cut. Hey, uh, we're shooting here. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. This will just take a sec. Melissa, I really like this woman in class. I want to go out on a date with her. I understand, and the answer is no. Okay, let me rephrase the question. (sighs) I really like this woman in class, and I want to go out with her on a date. Still no. Hey, Brendan, I thought you were going to handle this. Well, she was supposed to find your journal and read it. You mean this? <gasps> I found it at the soccer field. So, did you read it? No, I'm not going to read my father's journal. That's gross. But if you read it, it would help you to understand. I don't want to. Read it, Melissa. Yeah, read it. Read it. All right, all right, I'll read it. Another uh, game of chess, Brendan? No, I think uh, three is my limit. Plus, we don't know how to play chess at all. I know, but we like the pieces. The pieces are fun. Okay, I didn't read the whole thing. I couldn't. I got up to the part that says, Dear Journal, I am so lonely. I am really pathetic, and I really, really, really need a date. I did not write that. Sorry, I uh, I, I put that in there. I have a... Sorry. Hey, forget about the journal. Remember the time we found a little bird? Yeah. And we took it in, and we nursed it back to health? Uh-huh. What we learned from nursing that bird together, you and I, uh-huh. was that we nurture each other when we nurture things. I, I got to go out with this girl tonight. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she wants me bad. I, I want a woman. I need a woman. Yikes. Eric, Eric, Eric. Let me take a shot at this. Melissa. Mm-hmm. Man, we're an interesting group. We have certain needs. Jason, not your men have needs speech again. He wants, he wants to have sex with ladies. Melissa. All right, everyone be quiet. 
Dad. Yeah. Can we compromise? Of course we can. You can go out on dates, but I have to meet her by the third date, and if I don't approve, she's history. Hey, I'll kill her myself. Whatever you say, do I have my daughter back? Yes. Yay. Thank God. Brendan, you ready? Mm. Are, are, are we ready? Yes. Okay. yes. Is everybody ready? Everybody's mom, relax, please. Just just push play. Okay, I'm, I'm, here we okay, go, everyone. Okay, please. All right. I'm going outside. I can't watch this piece of crap. Okay, because he's so proud. It's so good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Agonon, did you um, ask Mary Beth Bushnick to the prom? Yes, she declined. Um, is your heart broken? Yes, that's why I invented this female robot. Mm-hmm. Meet Ruth, the female robot. Hello. Hey, Brendan, I want to thank you for what you did. I really do. Oh, no, don't mention it. Too late. Hey, mm. hey, I have an idea for a movie about a man who has a very controlling daughter, and she doesn't let him date, but then he ends up dating. That's uh, the worst idea for a movie I've ever heard in my whole life. Okay, how about this? A rogue shark terrorizes a small island community. I like it. Brendan. Yeah. Your movie sucks. Yeah, that's why I'm out here. I mean, really sucks. I know. Eric. Yes. What's up? Uh, got a call from Miss Fig. Oh, and what did she want? Well, she kicked me out of the class. But then she asked me out for a drink. Huh? What yeah, think? That's, that's okay. Huh? It's not bad. Eric. You Eric. Go, you, my you, man. You go. <laughs> Put that in your journal. Yeah. Brendan. Yeah? What are you going to do with your curse money? Can you give it to me? Or what? Can I have it? Yeah, I don't care. Go ahead. Thank you. Like 50 bucks. I don't care. What's uh, that all about? Now, the movie was so boring, I spliced in a scene of two dogs having sex. Oh, that thing I gave you. Yeah. Good move. Thanks. Just two? 